I also get tons of candy in the Halloween update. Two new mini games have just been released, including some brand new legendary pets for you to go and unlock using candy, alongside a white ghost legendary dragon which I'll be going and giving away. If you'd like to go and get one completely for free, like this video and subscribe as I'll be giving away some to those people. The first way to go and generate candy is by going and pressing this button on the left hand side where it says candy and then in and a countdown. By simply pressing this button you'll go and receive 150 candy every single 24 hours inside of Adopt Me. That is a very easy way to go and get a bunch of candy. You can go and buy a cat box for 600 candy meaning that logging in every day for 4 days will be enough to go and get that cat box completely for free. You'll notice that there are two mini games inside of Adopt Me, the Cauldron Brew mini game and also the other game which is where you have to ride around on a vehicle trying to locate the Headless Horseman. The location for the potion pieces inside of that mini game I will show you now. So in cell number 6 you will find the large mushroom. You jump up onto here and pick this thing up and take it back over. As for the other things you need to go over to here, this is where the fern is located and for cell number two you'll notice that this one is actually very small it is located in this corner it's glowing this lovely green color so go up to that collect it and walk back to the brewing potion area to go and be rewarded with a bunch of candy and if you want a reminder you don't actually need to be standing inside of the circle the whole time you'll get a pop-up notification meaning you can go and look after your pets age them and do other things while you're waiting for the mini game to go and begin cell number one is full of some very strange things to do with christmas this one is slightly confusing as for what this is it's just a bit weird there is a big evil dog watching over this area. I think this is talking about how the evil dog was invented. I'm not too sure but let me know your theories down below in the comment section of what you believe this weird evil dog Christmas section is. Another way you can go and get your candy currency is by going and purchasing it with Robux. If you have some Robux spare and want to go and get it, it's actually not too bad of a deal. 1,000 1,250 Robux will get you 18,000 candy, which is the equivalent of one Robux being around 14 candies, which isn't too bad and it will allow you to buy at least one of every single one of these pets. The evil Daoshound is actually only a rare pet, which I was quite surprised about. I was expecting this to be ultra rare. And the skeleton dog is actually only ultra rare as well, which I was expecting to be legendary, which is quite interesting. So the only legendary from this event is the ghost dragon, which will cost you 1,000 Robux. Surprisingly, they reduced the price from 1,250 to 1,000 after getting quite a lot of negative feedback. The scorpion cost you only 300 but is actually an uncommon pet. This one's pretty interesting to see and I just wasn't really expecting a scorpion to be honest. All of these accessories, none of them are too exciting. Potentially the stroller is going to be your best option if you're looking at something that will maintain rarity. If you want to teleport to the crypt directly and go and get there for the minigame, simply click the house button on the left hand side, it will take you to this location where you can go and get this the quickest. If you really want to optimise the amount of candy you're getting, make sure you have multiple Roblox accounts. I believe this is allowed in the terms and conditions, or you could just use your friends accounts if they don't play Adopt Me. Simply log onto their accounts every day, claim that 150 free candy bonus. By doing so, after a few days you'll be able to go and get that main item, or if you do a few, like four days of logging in every day, you'll be able to go and get a free cat box, which you could then just trade to your main account. So say you have 10 friends who don't play Adopt Me, after 10 days, you could get 10 cat boxes. And yeah, that means you'd have a pretty decent chance at getting the lovely golden cat. I have opened a bunch of these Halloween pets. Let's have a look, Halloween. I have opened 26 and only received one golden mummy cat, meaning these things are actually relatively difficult to get. 
You can also just simply walk up to this and join the queue if you want to make sure that you don't forget to go and teleport to the location at the right time. By going and completing this minigame there are a few glitches at the moment but hopefully it will reward you with a special potion. Sometimes it's not working, I've done this game multiple times and it's sometimes glitched. You'll notice that literally everyone in the server is all here waiting right now trying to go and play for the minigames as it's actually going to be very busy. The minigame has now started and the two minute countdown has begun, meaning we need to go and collect all of these ingredients one by one. So first of all, we're going to go and take this black fern, run back and take it into this area. You actually only have two minutes to go and do so, which isn't really too long. And then you press add ingredients. Next up, you're gonna to want to walk into cell number two. If you go and do it in this order, you're going to be able to go and do it the fastest by going one by one. First, we'll go for the middle, then go for cell number two. Take it over to here. As you'll see, we still have one minute left, meaning that we have enough time. Then lastly, we need to head into cell number six and go and grab this big mushroom. By doing so, that will be the last ingredient that we need to go and make this potion. As you can see, we've still got enough time to go and make it back, place this in, 50 seconds left, we go and put it in here, add the ingredients, you'll see these things will start to swirl around, and we've completed the mini game, and we now have a brand new Adopt Me Potion called the Dizzy Potion. This item will disappear when the Halloween event is over, which is actually really sad. I'm surprised they made a potion which will leave when the Halloween event is over, but let's go and see what this new potion does. Okay, the Dizzy Potion effects last for 10 seconds. Yo, this this is a crazy thing. Look how insane that potion is. Okay, the Dizzy Potion does exactly what you think it would do. It makes you dizzy. Obviously, we got rewarded with a bunch of candies by going and doing that mini game. So make sure that you go and do as many mini games as possible to go and get yourself that candy currency. If you guys are stuck and not able to go and get all of the pets that you need, uh, well, you're in luck. Because I'm going to be going and giving away a bunch of these completely for free. As, as you may notice, I actually have a ton spare of those Halloween pets. I don't really want to have 20 Halloween black mummy cats, so I will be going and giving these away. And also, we're going to go and buy a bunch more of this for an upcoming video, where I'll probably open tons of these Halloween um, cat boxes and give them away. So that is all of the ways that you can go and generate yourself some candy inside of Adopt Me. Be sure to go and use your friends accounts and basically play every single mini game once it's available. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Halloween and I'll see you guys next time. Also use star code CANDY, C-A-N-D-Y when buying Robux. Bye!